What's up YouTube, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the new Apple TV software which is debuting with the third generation Apple TV. This is available as a free update to all Apple TV second generation owners, although you'll still be limited to 720p output, both for video playback and the user interface. You'll need to upgrade to the third generation model to go full 1080p. More on the 1080p Apple TV third generation at the end of the week. The new UI exchanges the drop-down list view for a tiled interface that resembles apps in iOS, although Apple TV still does not support app downloads at this time. Scrolling through the top row of icons like movies, TV shows, music, and computers will let you preview and easily select content under each category in the carousel view above. The movies and TV shows interface have seen the biggest changes. Here you can see a new interface that includes scrollable cover flow for featured items. Below that are the familiar categories. At the top of the page you'll also find your options and one of them is new which is Genius. Similar to how it works with music, Genius will make recommendations based on your previous rental history. So selecting this allows me to scroll through a list of items based on my previous iTunes rentals. This works for both TV and movie rentals. Also new is Purchase, which allows you to download your previous iTunes movies or TV episode purchases directly from iCloud. So this works a lot like iTunes Match. Once purchased on one device, you now have cloud access to it on any device you're logged into. In fact, you can even see the iCloud icon in the upper right corner. Previously, purchased movies would only give you one download and it was up to you to hang on to it. And in order to play it back on your Apple TV, you had to stream it from your iTunes library running on your computer. What is also interesting here is that movies downloaded from iTunes using those Blu-ray digital copy redemption codes also carries over. So for example, all of these Lord of the Ring movies came as free downloads with the purchase of the Blu-rays. The other benefit here is that since iTunes HD content is graduating to 1080p with a new Apple TV, iCloud supplied movie streams will also be upgraded to 1080p free of charge. Although not much has changed under music, iTunes Match customers can now create Genius playlists directly from their matched library. To do so, all you need to do is hold down the select button while playing the song and choose create Genius playlists from the options. Netflix has also partnered with Apple to allow new users to sign up for a new subscription directly on the Apple TV and use their Apple ID to sign up and pay for their subscription. So instead of paying for Netflix by entering a credit card, you can use your Apple ID to log in and your billing is taken care of through Apple. And lastly, Apple has added a new National Geographic's photo library to the slideshow options. So that's going to do it for me guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.